Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough. It's time for Operation Purple Knife where the Grey Knights are going to try to get Avenger power, which is great because uh, that will allow us to build, for instance, a defense matrix if we wanted to, but also enemy material. And all we need to do is get through automated defenses and sealed armor, but we got a good squad, so well, that is not a problem. Well, let's jump right into the mission. Coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. Nice. I let's give it a go. There's an alien patrol nearby. Hmm, look at you. Look at you. Progressively moving forward because I want to start triggering the aliens. Headed there now. Copy that. Come get scanning. Oh, who did I forget back here? Ah, uh, sonar. Not the not the worst. It's fine. We can still move up with them. We have all of the time in the world. No need to rush in or anything. Okay, fair enough. Good. Uh, moves to here and Sonar also moves to here. Right. These guys are moving in the other direction. So, doorbell, almost saved advent here. That's affirmative. Are we going to go in is the question. I think we could do a little kill zone into get the priest. All right. Unfortunately, <clears throat> Blade Storm does not uh, trigger for all of them. But I think the movement reduction aura does, so they won't be able to scatter away just as far as they normally would. One down. Raising hit. Two down. And Priest goes into sustenance. Fantastic. Good. The aura definitely worked out very, very well for us. I'm going. Mutant Centurion. Before I'm now trying my dearest to get that Centurion. How about we're moving over and are trying to hit him with uh, the with a reaper? Is 
worth it. Good, we're locked in. Putting a pillar down here. And then we're just going to do one for all to be a good target. Reaper with uh, squad side deals a lot of damage, which is exactly what we wanted. And we're doing another overwatch. Goes in. Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. It is clear. Let's try to kill the mutant centurion. That is very unfortunate. Keep going. And that's a fantastic hit. Very good. We're diving into the shadows. Oh. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, well, let's block the ladder so that they cannot move up. Got it. Mike, let's Uncle Nuba reposition. Sona himself repositions over there. Holding here. Roger that. And we're pushing in. Oh, that's a nice, fabulous hit. Unfortunately, they're slithering away. Hmm, that's one option. Can't really get all the way there. Um. If we move ourselves over here, that would trigger and they will get into position. We can still use our flashbang afterwards. Good, this here hits two, four, six. And might stun a couple of them. Stunned, stunned, stunned. So we got stunned, 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 and stunned. That's four stuns. Excellent. Really good. Um, 
not sure if, if I invert, uh, if that means that I can uh, go back up. We're going to give it a try and let's hope it works. <coughs> the answer is yes, it does. Putting one thrall there. Happy now. Hit into moving up. We got death from above, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's a kill. Gives us an extra shot. Dual strike. Uh, almost dead, but pretty, uh, pretty good uh, kill ratio. Two, four, uh, that's not a kill. Two, four. That's not a hundred percent chance of killing them either. We could get an extra attack. Out. With our throwing knife. So, moving in. You are stunned. I can kill you. You are not stunned, so you shall take the knife. Um, that was within four tiles. Bonus action after throwing a knife to an enemy within four tiles. Huh? Why didn't it trigger? All right, I don't get it. That was very unfortunate. All right, kill into kill you can't handle me into kill Six to eleven, no chance of a crit. Let's try to get this guy. Oh, new grazing hit, unfortunate. Hi. 
Sane needs to put himself into a tiny bit better position. One that is not flankable. Over there is good, that is good. Over here is excellent. Good. Nah, not good. We're being mind controlled. That will need to end next turn. <laughs> okay. Lovely. The shadows fail. Get out of my head. Good. Hogbite is tanking. So we got to deal with that mind control. What I would say is apathesis. Very nice. Then we're going in. Raising shot and a massive shield bash. That uh, regains control. And we're continuing hitting on the serpents. Oh yeah, Apathies is great. Finally some damage. Oh, but is rocking the boat. I like it. Understood. Rock and roll. Look, this here could be three disabled vipers, right? That's a really good target. Let's try to stun them again. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. Well, learn something new. This would be flanking and I rather take two flanking shots instead of three into full cover. There we go. You can't handle me. Moving into cover, this should finally grant us that extra action, right? Very good. Two, four, six, that's a kill. And now we do have the problem on this side. Heavy mech needs to go. <clears throat> Q 
could have taken a shot before killed and used that from above. Slight optimization potential there. Shut him down. <clears throat> or give Hogbite another action, which I prefer. And Hogbite with his apathesis moves in into Bladestorm range. And I wonder, can we do one and for all on top of that? Uh, no, didn't didn't really change the overall amount of uh, hit points. But we're moving out of line of sight because we don't have temporary hit points on Uncle Nuber. He can move in next turn. Just want to make sure that he's not going to take a lot of damage. Bye. Nice little miss. <clears throat> There's the blade storm. Come on, kill him. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. I like the up in your face gameplay uh, from Hawkbite. Fantastic. Almost there. Could have thrown the knife beforehand right next onto the Viper. That would have given me a bonus action. But that's okay. It's, it's fine. up death from above there you go. into getting the mech down nice PCSs I like them up so now it's moving up as well we're positioning ourselves here just in case another pack is coming the answer is there is no pack left the aliens did not with uh, withstand our onslaught come on you bucket of bow Uh, large cache of info, please. Oh, wow. Really nice. I think that's it, right? We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Great fight. Oh, I like it. I like it. Um, unfortunately, a lot of corpses that I wasn't particularly keen on getting, like the entire um, Vipers, for instance, but okay, whatever. Maybe I'll get gas grenades at some point. 
one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to... Impressive work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. Kill zone would be fantastic here. Restoration isn't bad either. Capacitator discharge isn't bad, but I think kill zone. And then getting him a couple of the Overwatch talents that would be good. Scythe, on the other hand, I like that. Whenever you get a kill with a throwing knife, reduce uh, shadow cooldown by one and gain a bonus. Yes, please. Banish isn't bad as well. <clears throat> uh, but I think this here is good. Provides one at each kill with a primary weapon gets a knife charge and then this here will get a shadow reduction. So we stay even in long missions we have enough knives available. So I think we're going with a uh, knife juggler plus it increases uh, the base damage of knives. Very good build. Uh, 15 hacking, that's nice, holy moly. And lots of corpses. Just double checking. Bravo. Do we want to give him more hacking is the question. I like the eight uh, defense as well. 15 hack. Not bad. Would certainly uh, swing uh, the chances in our favor. I can think about it. So in terms of SWAT management, right? So we got Master Sergeants, only Sonar is Gunnery Sergeant and Scythe is Gunnery Sergeant, so they will run together with others. By the way, I found out, much to my dismay, that uh, the actual intended design for Psy Operatives is you have you can only uh, choose half of uh, the options and uh, since it's a pool of abilities, some abilities open up other abilities. Uh, I knew which abilities would open up others and I've uh, purposefully always uh, used Fuse very early so that I can get Stasis and eventually Domination, uh, which would be great. So kind of more of a crowd controller, which I think personally the Psy Operative excels in. Very strong, repeat uh, repeatable um, control. But had we skilled into Solace, for instance, which I never uh, skilled on any of them, uh, that is where Null Lens, just from a damage perspective, would have been sure. So fine, good, but um, even a fully powered Null Lens with like 15 points of damage um, and let's say hit of two or three targets isn't necessarily as great as uh, the, uh, the others, plus the AoE of the Null Lens is not good. I never really liked um, line AoE. Uh, the um, Void Rift AoE was always much better. And theoretically, Void Rift we can get uh, with uh, Soul Steel, I think. And then it opens up um, the barrier, which gives everybody hit points. That's a cool ability by, uh, by itself. So um, I will skill more into those trees. Essentially, uh, support, extra hit points, domination, and Void Rift. That's good enough. Uh, and of course I will always skill Fortress simply because Fortress in my perspective is potentially the single best ability that they do have. Immunity against explosions and immunity against everything else is just absolutely oppressive. Okay, but that means we will need to have the Psy operatives on more missions, which is generally fine, but it also means we can't have all of the skills. Uh, resistance contacts, that's good. We're going to do that. Five days sounds uh, like a mission uh, that is just made for us. And we were just speaking about the Grey Knights. So if we are putting you and you and you out and also you, that gives us two. 
and we can put a couple more uh, in here so let's do that all right so gray knights <clears throat> begin to infiltrate let's go continuing making contact Two nineteen seventy seven sixty one. Okay, so nothing really <clears throat> dramatic. We got strength four, vigilance seventeen. So um, still is an area where we could get a couple more missions in. I think we're fine. And this is the liberation uh, mission. That's an important one, so we don't want to miss that. Uh, could put blood angels in, but that would be a waste. Uh, 18 hours until the bond is trained. Oh, come on. You know, we could select the squad here. It's not a great squad, but maybe we can upgrade it. Let's see. Good, this is going to be a harsh one. Really a newbie team. The aspirants without ataxia who is currently training but that's okay we will have missions where there's just no one available and we continue to get rookies so that i actually think is pretty damn good uh, very average rookie potentially like the no good uh, to hit chance so uh 15 that might be a shinobi but we do have plenty of shinobis at the moment um yeah i need to think uh, that through could be a tech uh, technical as well and that would be the next mission which we're going to do in the next episode got another engineer theoretically available which is great um currently don't have any free engineers right no we don't and you two can definitely improve your bond right now thank you bond level three very good so whilst this is happening uh we have plenty of further missions so we're not going to stop anytime soon plasma rifles are nearly through um we're a bit short on supplies, but I do have so much that I could uh, sell plus. We're getting 500 in a second. That would be good. Very soon, we're going to get um, another covert action. And that's where the Blood Angels then come into play. Uh, plus, we will get three additional uh, characters, or two rather. Um, because all of a sudden, Paladin and Euler are uh, going to be back. Which means in our squad management that some squad uh, might be happy about a little upgrade there. Or the two of them, hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, we could put them in here. Technically, instead of uh, the Ranger and I think Assault. So they could be part of the Iron Hands or they're just going to uh, create a new chapter. At the moment, we really are coming to that point where some of the chapters, right, 
the Grey Knights as an example, or the Blood Angels, the ones that really had a lot of missions uh, under their belt, are reaching Master Sergeant left and right. So that's good. I appreciate that. What we theoretically could do is, uh, with the officers and, and the way that uh, the officer system works, we could... Um, we could let uh, them uh, run, uh, let them continue to let them run uh, um, under one officer, and then uh, certain buffs will stack up. So a little bit reduction of infiltration time, a little bit better uh, dodge, uh, if it's always the same team. What I noticed that we don't have is since the Grey Knights are split into two uh, squads, we do have uh, the Shinobi here. Uh, Johnny Five, who is kind of the main officer, there is no question about it, but I'm wondering if I might put Mike the Public Bravo uh, into, once he's done with bond training, into officer training as well, because then the Grey Knight first squad also has an officer. It, the, the game is only taking the highest level officer anyways, but uh, before we're wasting time, we might as well uh, do that and sometimes we had openings in in the officer school and to be fair uh, there could be an argument made for mike to also be the officer and just use the shinobi as a melee uh, attacker uh, that's totally fine uh, with reaper and the, they are very strong melee hits that's great and Johnny Five, I think, also has deaths from above, and so a couple of uh, shooting uh, abilities on top of it. Yep, that's the thought process. I think other than that, our chapters are looking healthy as ever. Um, since we are a bit uh, ahead of the curve, we are um, we are actually stomping the enemies at the moment, but rest assured that will change very soon. I mean, we're just beginning of September. Um, and uh, next up we, we are going to get to all of the nice little toys uh, specifically plasma weapons I have plenty of uh, plenty of uh, cores over 30 so we're ready to build some nice stuff and other than that it really worked out well so far uh, the only regret that I do have is not knowing about those psi um, trainings a bit earlier well, uh, it is what it is now, and I don't think that we have ma massively misskilled them. E maybe, maybe I wouldn't have taken one or the other, but overall, I think they uh, they are skilled just adequately. That's it from my end. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.